Hello students, welcome back. So from this video we are going to start a new subject called control systems. So in this video we are going to see what are the basics of control system. That means what are the types of control system that is open loop and closed loop control system and what are the basic differences between open loop and closed loop control system. Okay. So if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. So first is what is a system? So what is a system? So a system is a group of a group of physical components. So a group it is a group of physical components connected together connected together in order to in order to achieve a particular task in order to achieve a particular task so a group of physical components connected together in order to achieve a particular task is called as a system so these group of physical components may be anything okay so it may be electrical or mechanical in nature or anything so a group of physical components connected together in order to achieve any particular task is said to be a system so then what is control system control system so control system is group of physical components group of physical components connected together connected together in order to achieve in order to achieve desired task here desired task in order to achieve desired task by means of by means of controlling action by means of some controlling action so that type of system is said to be a control system okay so this is the difference between a system and control system so suppose uh, take an example of uh, a fan so normally fan without regulator so normally a fan without regulator is a system it is a system so when you switch on a fan which is not working with respect to regulator it also gives us air by uh, uh, so it also gives you the output that is we will get some air from the fan but the speed of the fan is controlled by the regulator so this is called as controller or the action performed by it is controlling action so the action performing by it is controlling action so fan with regulator fan with regulator will become now control system so we can control the airflow in this case we can control the airflow if you want to increase you can increase or if you want to decrease you can decrease but here no such controlling action is there so it is generally called system so that is why it will give you a particular task not the desired task that means whatever you want you can achieve by using a normal simple system so by using control system you can achieve whatever the result you want or whatever the desired task you want by means of some controlling action in this case it is regulator okay so this is the basic difference between a system and a control system right so control system is of two types so again control system is of two types first one is open loop control system open loop control system 
so in short we'll call it as OLCS and second is closed loop control system closed loop control system so it is CLCS so open loop and closed loop control systems now we'll discuss what is open loop control system and what is closed loop control system so the next uh, is the first type of control system which is open loop control system open loop control system so open loop control system general block diagram will be like this so this will be controlled output and this is reference input this is reference input and this is controller and this is the actual process okay so this process is some process which you want to do so suppose like a fan here in the previous example which we have discussed so fan is a process here and controller is your fan regulator so controller is your regulator okay so you'll get the some controlled output so this type of control system where you have some controller to control the process is called as open loop control system so generally open loop control system is defined as so this controller action here is independent of output so controlled output is obtained but still whether it is the your desired output or not so even if it is not your desired output you have to take that output you have to consider only the controlled output so this may or may not be your desired output so there is no mechanism in this open loop control system to have uh, to achieve the desired output there is no controlling action or there is no uh, mechanism in this open loop control system to have the desired output so this control you have the controlled output but this controlled output may or may not be your desired output okay so this is called as open loop control system still controller action is there but the output may or may not be the desired output okay so generally saying what we can say about open loop control system is a control system a control system whose controller action whose control controller action is independent of output is independent of output is called open loop control system Okay. so this is the open loop control system the controller action is independent of output that is the output is controlled but still the controlled output may or may not be desired output so there is no any there is no mechanism which makes this controlled output as our desired output okay so this is about open loop control system so controlled output may or may not be desired output so this is the main disadvantage of open loop control system so the next type of control system is closed loop control system closed loop control system so in closed loop control system a control system a control system whose controller action whose controller action depends on output depends on output is called as closed loop control system so there is some mechanism which uh, makes this controlled output as our desired output so such type of mechanism is called as feedback mechanism 
okay so the mechanism which is used to make this controlled output as our desired output is called as feedback mechanism okay so i'll show you from block diagram so this is your controller and process so this is feedback some feedback network and this is your controlled output which is also your desired output so this is reference input okay so this type of uh, mechanism is called as feedback mechanism so in fee what is feedback is the output is brought back to the input con and compared with the reference input this is minus and this is plus compared with the reference input in order to make some error so if the uh, output controlled output is not our desired output then obviously there will be some error so some error is generated so that proper control action will takes place to make this error is equal to zero so proper controller action will takes place so that this error is equal to zero so if error is equal to zero then the output will be a desired output so if the error is zero so the error is zero so there is no nothing uh, we want to feedback that is nothing no signal will comes from the output to the input that means the desired output is achieved okay so such type of mechanism is called as closed loop control system so the controller action here depends on the output because output is fed back to the input in order to generate the error so that proper controller action will takes place in order to make the output as our desired output so in this case if you want a, a, a regulator which is to be run so generally the regulator will have um the range from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so there will be some regulator so you can uh, rotate that regulator based on that you will have the speed of the fan to be controlled so if you want uh, uh, and this should be automatic and generally we'll do manually but uh, if it is automatic if it is automatic what will we do is if you if you want a high speed fan that is the fan must be uh, mm, mm, fan is rotating in 5 in mode 5 but the but now we have given only mode 2 so generally it is a controlled output only so the output is fed back again to the uh, input but it is not our desired output the fan flow must increase so automatically automatically we can increase the fan uh, the speed of the fan to 5 so that you will have the desired output okay such type of control system where you have the desired output is called as closed loop control system okay so we'll see the differences in the next video because the video length is going to be increased so we'll see the differences between open loop and closed loop control system in the next video okay